What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Once again, Corey, aka GQ, saying here another reaction video. Sorry, that little pause. I almost did. Got tongue tied. Been getting tongue tied all day at work, so kind of bear with me. Anyway, this is going to be I'm reacting to another video from Very Comments. This one's titled How Powerful Is Professor X from X Man? I kind of say it's mostly going to be more going about his telepathy because he has no old physical power. He isn't, you know, super strong, all that. He's mostly relies on his telepathy power. Anyway, don't want to bore you guys. Let's go on and hop into the video. So I'm sure to see what what his best best moments are in the combo. So let's get it. What's up, my comic comrades? With the House of X and Powers of Ten titles being received so well, and the X Men set to do some awesome things under the hand of writer Jonathan Hickman, we thought it'd be fun to talk about the man behind the X Men, Charles Xavier, aka Professor X, yeah. and look at just how powerful he really is. I'll also mention that many of you have been leaving comments asking us to do a pull list episode on the two new X Men miniseries, and we're definitely going to do that too. But we're going to wait a little bit and do episodes on issues one through three, and then four through six for yeah, each title. Dude, so be on the lookout that's, that's, for that. Anyway, on to some Professor X. Right off the bat, it's very important to note that Charles Xavier has no physical powers. But with that said, he's one of the most powerful telepathic mutants in the world. He's actually an alpha level mutant, which basically means he has an incredible amount of power, but ultimately does have limits. While on the other hand, omega level mutants have an undefinable upper limit of power. In any case, Professor yeah. X is no joke. So like in every How Powerful episode here on the channel, I'm going to be giving you several examples of his power to really drive home just how insane Xavier's telepathic abilities are. As always, obviously I'm not going to mention every single example of great feats he's done in comics, just a handful to really drive the point home. And first up, which is quite a way to kick off this list, I was even tempted to end it with this, but I wanted to start off with a bang, we have the time Xavier mentally restrained one half of the Phoenix Force when it was possessing Cyclops during the I end of Avengers vs. X-Men. Now, so even restraining man. half of the I Phoenix Force like, is extremely like impressive because, well, it represents all current and future life, thus making it the prime universal force of life. It essentially has no limits to what it can do. I mean, this page says it all. He is literally restraining a Phoenix Force possessed Cyclops so that the Avengers can attack and defeat the said force. He's standing there like a boss with his hands in his pockets like, no big deal. Get out of here with that. But it gets even better than that. On the next page, Scott, possessed by the Phoenix Force, is literally all pissed, bowing up. But Professor X just looks at Cyclops and says, Sit down, boy. And guess what? Cyclops drops to his hands and knees. <laughs> Charles continues to say, oh, yeah, I asked scene. you, I begged you, and now I'm making you. Stop this madness. What you about to say? If there was ever a who's your daddy moment, it would be this. Next up, we have the time Charles casually incapacitated a Sentinel all by himself with a single mind blast, which took place in Uncanny X-Men issue 98. Yeah, now, this doesn't seem too impressive machine, after the previous example, hunters, but by normal are. standards, this is still nuts considering it usually takes several X-Men to defeat a single Sentinel. The Sentinel literally says, Charles Xavier, I have come for you. Charles replies, very well, Sentinel, you have found me, but you'll find that capturing me is another matter altogether. And after saying that, blast him into the ocean with a mind blast. But stepping back into Crazy Town, we have the time Professor X knocks out and puts to sleep several X-Men, Thor, and a Phoenix Force-possessed Namor in Avengers issue 29. This was an Avengers vs. X-Men crossover yeah. where Namor was possessed by a portion of the Phoenix Force, and he started charging Professor X. So Charles puts his hand out and says, sleep. Which puts Namor and everyone else around him to night-night. He straight up just turned the lights off on all of them being like, yeah, no. It's also kind of crazy he was able to put out Thor so easily, as he's usually known to not be susceptible to that kind of thing. But on the other hand, he just put the Phoenix Force to sleep, so I guess that's not that shocking. In the same issue, Xavier just straight up stopped Rachel Summers in her tracks in a mental battle. For those of you who don't understand why this is impressive, Rachel Summers is a planet-level telepath, which basically means she's powerful enough to destroy an entire planet. But Professor X is like, not today, little lady. Next up, we have X-Men Legacy issue 210, where Xavier defeated Exodus in a mental battle. Why is this one so impressive? Well, because Exodus is an Omega-level telepath. Yet somehow, Professor X defeated him in a mental battle. Exodus says, do you yield to me, Xavier, or must I go on? Xavier says, this stops now, and starts wrecking shop. This is just crazy to me, because we know for a fact that Exodus is an Omega-level mutant and Professor X is not. As Marvel just confirmed all the known Omega-level mutants in House of X issue 1. Which is just all kinds of nuts that Charles beat an Omega-level mutant without being one himself. He's that fellow Baldy has got to fight him. You get it? Because we're both bald. In the New Avengers Illuminati issue 2, Professor X uses Cerebro to bring Illuminati members Namor and Doctor Strange inside the collective unconsciousness of the freaking universe. Doctor Strange mm -hmm. even says, the mind gem is not part of the collective unconsciousness at all. 
Professor X says, no, it is the collective unconsciousness. If you're still not quite sure what this means exactly, well, it means that Charles Xavier went inside and gained access for him, Namor, and Doctor Strange to the unconscious thoughts and dreams of the entire universe. Sure, you could argue that this was only done because of the help of Cerebro, but on the flip side, only the most powerful minds in the Marvel Universe can handle using Cerebro. Now, there's many more examples yeah. I could leave you with, but I'm going to leave you with one final one I think is a banger. And that's when Xavier battled the Dark Phoenix on every plane of existence and won in the Dark Phoenix Saga storyline. As you can imagine, it's a freaking intense battle, and at the end, Professor X wins. However, he does state that he would have lost if it weren't for the fact that he sends Jean fighting against her Phoenix side from mm. within, allowing Professor X to gain the upper hand. Either way, defeating the Phoenix Force on any level is insane. It's also yeah, not the, the only Phoenix instance where he has true. found a way to defeat the Phoenix Force. He's actually done it several times in the comics. So all things considered, I have no idea how Charles Xavier isn't considered an Omega level mutant with all the feats he's accomplished over the years. I mean, this list of examples were just a fraction of them. But hey, yeah. I don't write the comics. I just give you the information that I is given to me by the publishers. Omega in any case, I hope this helps you understand That's just how powerful Powerful Charles Xavier is. But but let us know in the comment section what other characters so. you would like to see get a How Powerful episode. But that's going to bring another episode of Variant to a close. But if you like this video, there's going to be a box. Pretty interesting video. It shows us how his, some of his best moments are. Some of the stuff I never is even seen. I remember that part versus the Avengers vs. Ask Me. I, I actually enjoy that series. I was rooting for the Avengers. Anyway, it pretty much goes to show you that his comic book itself is much more powerful than the one in the movie. But again, they always leave some stuff some stuff out. But pretty dope video. Pretty, I'll react to another another one in the future. Have any any special requests for me to react to a certain video, just go ahead, just drop a comment. And we make sure you get more like, comment, subscribe, have a nice day. Peace.